everyone, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to my channel. This is a love reading for the collective, all signs and all placements for the next 72 hours. So let's jump straight into it with an oracle card message. Keep in mind this could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it's intended for the next 72 hours. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us, so there's no gender in tarot. And feel free to flip and reverse the roles whenever and however you see fit. All right, Spirit, what do you have for the collective? A love message for the collective. All signs and all placements for the next 72 hours. Give it one more good shuffle. All right, what do you have for the collective? And happy birthday to all my Virgos out there. What me love message do you have for the collective, Spirit, for the next 72, okay. We have Potion, remember to practice self-love, number 24. We have Gray, Endings Are Inevitable, number 37. And overall, we have Voyage, You Already Have All the Answers, number 34. All right, let's jump into it. For the collective and you know it's gonna be different for everyone I do not expect this to resonate 100% for everybody watching of course hmm it seems like endings and new beginnings leaving one situation to go to a new one and that's not gonna be everyone some people could be leaving the situation and just going it their own way. But I definitely see something coming to an end with that gray. Endings are inevitable and practice self-love. At this time, something has come to an end. I'm seeing the world here as I'm shuffling. Major cycle completions. And then you have all the answers. Either you're moving jobs, moving houses, moving places. Wherever it is, I feel like a lot of you are moving towards something, even if it's just spiritually. But let's get into it and see for this love message for the collective spirit. What do you want to tell my collective for the next 72 hours? Oh my gosh, 10 of Pentacles, first card out. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is already, I can tell this is a beautiful message, even though there are endings, but that that's what it is when you have a new beginning, something always has to end, vice and vice versa. When there's an ending, there's new beginnings. More earth energy, five of pentacles. Whew. So, someone is feeling left out in the cold in a family situation, or could be work, but this is a love reading. But you have the three of wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So someone here could be worried because things didn't go as planned for them. And you're worried that things are gonna go downhill. And I'm telling you right now, if you are worried about anything, you have all the answers. You are exactly where you need to be for whoever this is for. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, more Earth energy. And one more for my collective. Okay, I said one. And they gave me like three. Uh-uh. Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. One more for the collective, please. Thank you, wow. And it would give me the overall energy. Justice, the card of Libra. Oh, I love the sun came through. I love that. <laughs> okay, so you can see all the cards. So either this was a love situation or a family situation. With this 10 of Pentacles here, it's about communal wealth and legacy. So much wealth and abundance, you could spread it around. This could also be breaking generational curses or an inheritance. Regardless of what it is for you, someone here feels left out in the cold. And this is a love reading. I keep forgetting that because it's so many pentacles here. A lot of you, a lo money and work could be affecting your love life. Also long distance relationships possibly. But whatever this is, someone is worried about stability and being left out in the cold. I get that someone's taking a leap of faith, ending something and going into a new beginning at the center of this is the three of wands. So your ships are coming in. And I don't know why I wanted to say fiery and passionate energy. I know this is wands, but there's so many pinnacles here. It's really no need for me to say that, but I just feel like there's a lot of fire and passion going on in this reading. Even though it's like really grounded energy, it's, it's stable, 
and like fulfilling. It's like exciting. You're coming into an exciting period in your life. It may feel rocky, but you've planned for this. You've prepared for this, whether you know it, uh, whether you know it or not. You have been prepared for this by the universe. So whatever you've been working on, studying, or working towards, or any information or experiences you've been gathering, whatever period in life you're about to come into or you're already in it, you have every tool to your disposal. And this is justice here for you. A lot of you could be dealing with a Libra, have this sign strongly in your chart somewhere. This is a significant sign for some reason. But everything's working out. Everything's balancing out. You could have been or are still currently going through a rocky time in your life. But I get that you're going towards the end of it. With this endings are inevitable. I feel like things are about to start calming down for you really soon. And with the Knight of Wands, I'm seeing this as you going into this new cycle in life, really fiery and passionate. It's like you go from this dark time of sadness and feeling betrayed and just let down by everyone, left out. And then you come into this new cycle just ready and fired up, ready to go. And behind that is temperance. So a lot of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or have it strongly in your chart, whatever it is. I just see you coming into this new cycle like ready, head held high and just, your ships are coming in. Well, let me get you this clarification. This was supposed to be a quick reading. I'm getting more and more into just talking about the five main cards here. But I do like clarification. But I'm getting the main message here is you're worried about stability and family. And you're worried about being left out in the cold. Or you could feel left out in the cold right now. But regardless of where you are in this, your ships are coming in and you've prepared for it in some way, shape, or form. This is your justice. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for the collective. We have the Four of Wands. See, like, the Ten of Pentacles is family, but I was so, you know, thinking of a home situation. With the Four of Wands, this could be a marriage. It doesn't have to be. It could be a union or just you live with this person. Things are changing in regards to union or home. With this death card, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio or have a strong in your chart. You could be a Scorpio. But there's a major shift and change, a death and rebirth in regards to a family situation or how you view family and marriage. There's a passionate new beginning here. And then with the higher form, there's definitely some higher commitment happening now or in the near future. Either you're thinking about committing to someone with this, you already have all the answers or vice versa. I'm feeling it on both ends and I'm scratching right now for no reason. So that's confirmation for me. Someone is ready to rush forward or rush into you with, or you're rushing into someone with a major love offer. Someone wants to start a family and make a family with you or you want to do that with someone. But first something has to come to an end on either on your side or their side. And it's something about practicing self-love. I think some of you or a lot of you have to learn to it's going to be hard for you to accept this love when it comes because you've been through a lot. Five of Pentacles. I don't know why I picked up on that. Two of Pentacles. Juggling and someone worried about being left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I said at the beginning, something has to end before this new beginning can come. An ending to a painful cycle of backstabbing and portrayal. Either you were juggled in the past or you're juggling between sticking with the past or going with this new person. Third party situation interference possibly or someone trying to like pull you away from this new beginning or vice versa. Someone wants to, a reunion or a reconciliation and someone here is juggling that. But regardless, it's coming to an end. And then with the endings are inevitable card. Tens are endings in tarot. So whatever backstabbing, betrayal, or juggling, or being left out in the cold, that situation is coming to an end. Clarify the three of wands. King of pentacles. This is what's coming in for you. A stable energy who's coming towards you, who wants you just there to stay. You're coming into a very stable period in your life. This could also be you. And so more, so much earth energy, you're going to be very grounded and balanced at this time. Even though you have like some shaky cards, they're just really grounded. It's like a calming energy. Clarify the three of wands. I'm just seeing a lot of stability and love coming in for you. That didn't really fall out how I wanted it to. So I'm going to give you one more. Clarify the three of wands. Okay, strength. So you have the Ace of Swords, 
and strength. So they're going to come in very blunt and straightforward. They're gathering their strength. or they, I don't think they need to gather it. I think they already have it. Whoever this person is coming towards you, you could be coming towards them. But I'm seeing this person taking action towards you. They're going to be speaking some truth and bringing clarity and having the strength to say whatever it is on their mind they've been holding back. I'm seeing marriage for a lot of you. Knight of Pentacles. I know that's weird to say. It doesn't have to be. Of course, everybody's not going to run out and get married, but I'm seeing higher commitment for a lot of you. And then the judgment card. So someone who's, someone's calling a judgment on a situation that they've studied for a long time. Either you are or this person is. Something's coming to an end so that either you can go towards this person or they can come towards you. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles one more time. Yeah, there's a tower moment of clarity. Uh, endings are inevitable. Something here needs to end to make room for this union. A major shift and change is happening because some part of a toxic past needs to be let go. And that energy isn't really evident right here. They're not saying a lot about the past. The only thing about the past is this. It's coming to an end. This is more so about current energies. So I get that this is after the storm. A lot of you could have been currently going through a tower moment right now and calling a judgment on something. And if you haven't, you're about to, but I feel like most of you have already gone through it. Clarify the justice card or you are currently going through it. Overall, we have the hanged woman, a temporary pause, seeing all sides to a situation and gaining enlightenment. I also see it as illumination for this reading. And the two cards that fell out was the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So there was an injustice in the past with a person, a third party. This could be the person interfering, trying to come back once they see someone moving on. And someone's going to need to call a judgment on this. And this is going to cause a tower moment. It's going to make someone realize a truth, either about someone juggling or a truth about like who they want to go towards or what they want to go towards. And I'm seeing a new offer of love with this Ace of Cups. I'm seeing truth, clarity, and a love offer. So someone is leaving a situation to go towards something that's better suited for them. And this is justice and a new cycle with this Wheel of Fortune. Whew. So that is your reading. I mean... Overall, this is the message I'm getting. If I keep talking, I'm just going to keep repeating myself. The back of the deck, the um, energy bubbling under the surface is the fool. A new beginning. First card of the tarot. Like, and an opportunity presenting itself with the four of cups. And then the lovers. So, overall, the message is someone's ending a toxic cycle in their life to start a new beginning of truth and clarity, grounded, long-lasting love with someone new, whether that's with, you know, a person or with yourself. If you don't want a relationship, remember to practice self-love. But for those of you who do want a relationship and watching a love reading, obviously, you already have all the answers. And oh my gosh, underneath it, take a chance on them. And then behind it is you never need those wings to fly. So whatever person you've been holding on to or they've been holding on to, you never, they never needed that person. You never needed that person to be happy in life. Leave that behind and soar. Take a chance on this new person. You already have all the answers. You already have all the truth and clarity that you need here to make that leap in a new love situation. So if you're worried about a new person or being left out in the cold or juggled because of past situations, this ain't this. Okay, this new relationship, this new person that you either currently dealing with now or will meet really soon, this is karmic justice. Long-term fulfillment, happiness. This, you guys care about each other a lot. A lot. Like this is really grounded, stable, long-term, loving, open, honest energy. And that's going to be made very clear to you very soon. All right. Okay. I know I said that was your reading like four minutes ago, but this is really it. All right. I send you guys peace, blessings, and love. And I hope this reading found you well. And I hope you like my new setup. If you're a returning subscriber, tell me how you like it. I think the lighting actually looks more vibrant. And my email is in the description box below. If you would like to book a personal, it's 
goddesspufftarot at gmail.com. 10 to 20 minute readings are $10 and 20 to 30 minute readings are $20. That's my options right now. But I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.